Hi everyone! Today, we're tackling a common issue on Chevy Silverado 1500s, resetting the transfer case control module. This module is like the brain of your four-wheel drive system. Sometimes, it can get confused and needs a reset. This can solve problems like your service 4WD light being on or your truck not shifting into four-wheel drive. Let's get started. First, understand why you might need to do this. Maybe you've replaced the module itself. Perhaps you have a persistent error code. Or, the system is just acting strange. Before we begin, safety first. Make sure your truck is parked on a level surface. Engage the parking brake. Turn off the ignition. Now, let's move on to the reset methods. The easiest method involves disconnecting the battery. This forces a system reset. Open your hood and locate the battery. You'll need a wrench to loosen the negative terminal. Carefully disconnect the negative cable from the battery post. Wait about 15 to 20 minutes. This allows the module to completely lose power and reset. After the waiting period, reconnect the negative cable. Make sure it's tight. Close the hood. Start your truck. Check if the service 4WD light is gone. Try shifting into four-wheel drive to see if it's working correctly. If the battery disconnect didn't work, there's another option. This involves using a scan tool. A scan tool can read and clear diagnostic trouble codes. Plug the scan tool into the OBD2 port under your dashboard. Turn the ignition to the on position, but don't start the engine. Follow the scan tool's instructions to read the codes. Look for any codes related to the transfer case control module. If you find any, clear them using the scan tool's function. After clearing the codes, turn off the ignition. Remove the scan tool. Start your truck. Again, check for the service 4WD light and test the four-wheel drive. If neither of these methods works, the problem might be more serious. It could be a faulty transfer case control module. There might be wiring issues. Or, there could be a mechanical problem in the transfer case itself. In these cases, it's best to consult a qualified mechanic. They can diagnose the problem accurately and recommend the best course of action. Remember to always double-check your work. Ensure all connections are secure. And consult your owner's manual for specific instructions related to your Silverado model year. These steps should help you reset your transfer case control module. Hopefully, it will get your four-wheel drive working smoothly again. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel for more helpful car repair tips and tricks. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. Your support is greatly appreciated.